Hi Stampers, I'm here to show you this Christmas cone tree that I've made and I'm going to show you how to do it. You use the Holiday Fancy Foil Designer Vellum and you get nine um, sheets, three of each. Let me show you how this works. You're going to take a 12 by 12 piece and you're going to cut it as four inch strips and then from there you're going to go ahead and do three fourths of an inch strips from those four inches. After you cut it, a whole sheet will go ahead and get you one tree. And then I'm going to take my um, glue dots and use a glue dot on each corner and just flip this around and make a bunch of these. And I've already done some for you. So I'm going to take this cone, it's a six inch cone, and I'm going to first start by pressing down and making more of a point at the top. Just kind of curving it in so it's not so blunt at the top. Then I'm going to start, and I like to use a block to kind of work on or something you can set up here just so you're up higher. And I'm going to go ahead and start, and you can look right here at the vellum and kind of gauge, okay, I want that maybe about a half an inch hanging down. So you can go ahead and put a bead of your glue and the hot glue, and then you're going to go ahead and just stick these on like that, and just be careful because it's really hot. And you're just going to do that all the way around, okay, till you get all the way to this side. And I'm just showing you really fast, but you, I kind of wait till it dries a little bit and hold the edges down. As you get higher up on the tree, you'll want to, because it's very slender here, you'll want to go ahead and put one, just the glue right on this at the top and then just hold it down till it dries. So like this. So then it will stay down better. If you notice, this tree is very blunt on the top. This actually was my first one I did. So I, the next ones I did, I pushed them in. So this is still kind of flat um, look right there. But you wanna take a hole punch and just go ahead and punch a circle punch right there at the top. And I used um, three-fourths of an inch hole punch. You can use an inch or three-fourths and just mold it down. Let me show you how to do the top of the tree to make it look really cool. So you're just going to take some ribbon. This is called the glitter ribbon, and it comes in gold and white glitter. And this is fun because this is the tail. You want to have the tail come down a little bit. So I'm just going to go back and forth a bunch of times. So you kind of measure out the way you want your bow to do. And so some are going to be longer and some are going to be shorter. So it kind of goes on top of each other. And then I'm going to have another tail come down on the other side. And then I'm going to just cut it. And then take this that I already have made right here. Turn that around because that will be the top. And then just hold that down. And I'm going to tie a knot, and this will just be underneath. So it's kind of like when you're tying a knot. And I'll, before I tighten it, I'm going to move it back and forth till I get it more centered. Tighten it like that, and then I'll tie another knot again, just to make sure it stays in place. All right, now that we've got that done, we've kind of got our bow like this, and it's kind of floppy, but that's okay. You want it to look kind of floppy. So I'm just gonna glue gun this on. Put a bit of glue right there. And just hold that down. And this kind of covers up any of the imperfections on your tree right here. And then I took two of our Stampin' Up! containers took the actual adhesive off of them, or the labels, covered them with the glitter um, paper, and just made an actual top for the tree, or actually bottom for the tree. So that's how I did the tree. Some variations of this tree. This one was really fun to do. It takes a whole sheet of glitter paper, and I cut these in strips of two and a quarter inch. And let me show you how this works. I'm going to use the Festive Flower Builder Punch. And if you notice, there's this flower shape right here. You're going to use the biggest petal. 
I'm going to use the Festive Flower Builder Punch. And this actually builds a poinsettia flower, but what I'm going to show you is with our glitter papers, I'm just going to go ahead and punch and just move it over and then punch again. After you go ahead and punch the first couple, what I like to do is you can tear this off and it's easier to punch because you're not going through a couple different punches. So like that. And then I just tear this off and then punch again. So once you get all your strips of two and a quarter cut or punched out, you'll have a bunch of these little things. And what I did was I used the pointy tip at the top of the tree. Let me show you. So I just kind of curled these up a little bit with my, and then I would glue it like this. And at first, if you notice here on the tree, you'll see one row here, one row here, and there's a specific rows. After I got the whole thing up, I put a glue dot right here at the top and put two together and a glue dot here at the top here and two together. So that made the top of the tree. But then you notice that it's really not lined up. So then I took whatever was left over and I just stuck different ones every, every other place. So that's how you make that fun little tree. And here's another tip you can use. We have some of this great pom-pom real red um, trim and you can actually just trim off the ball parts and then you can Right now I'm just going to show you by, by pressing these on the glitter because it kind of sticks without glue. But if you wanted to, you can take a glitter tree and make it a little bit different by doing that. Or you can make it look more like um, a frozen tree. So this I think stands really nicely just by itself and it looks really pretty. I call it the frozen tree. This is more of a country look right here we did and um, if you're going to be using anything that's white or the vellum paper I would suggest getting a white cone if you're doing more of a country look there's the green cones okay and this is just showing you a different variation of you can get different um, dowel rods and make them different sizes so here's this glitter tree you can just see the difference kind of the same concept one more glitter tree this is kind of a king size glitter tree and we just used the, the actual um, spool right here that was from this. And we just covered it with glitter paper and then just glued it on. But this takes um, just two sheets of the different colored glimmer paper and the same kind of glittery ribbon too. If you like what you saw, make sure you click here and subscribe to my Stampin' Jill YouTube channel. Also, you can go to my website, stampinjill.com, and place an order. Join us next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday. Bye!